This is kind of a huge deal. I'm way behind on doing this, but we're gonna go ahead and do it nonetheless. We're kind of celebrating our year of owning the property and we have done so much on the property. I thought it'd be really cool to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison to uh, the changes that we've done. We've done a lot of work, including bringing the shed out to the property and working on the garden. And um, we're just gonna kind of step back and see how it looked before and how it looks now. So one of the biggest things that changed is that we brought the shed out. There's the round pen now. And then there's a camper there temporarily. We're gonna likely be selling it. We were supposed to move into it, but plans changed. And then of course the garden and the orchard and all that. Another big difference is as you can see, the grass is lower, but we've been working on uh, getting the weeds down. It's a lot better. This pasture used to be overtaken with dog fennel. And uh, it's looking like our, our attempts at burst mowing the dog fennel down is working. So we're gonna keep working on that. We ran the cows and the horses on the pasture a little bit longer than we wanted to originally um, before winter set in and the grass went dormant, but it's coming back and we're gonna be good. As I said before, one of our biggest changes that we've done to the pasture is the orchard and the future garden. And um, behind me we've got, um, it's kind of a mess right now because we've got pepper bushes that I've been growing in that I need to start pulling out. I've been working slowly across the pasture, pulling up these, these young, uh, pepper bushes. They're extremely invasive, but we're starting to win against them. I've got a lot of them pulled up, but we've got these ones around these two big trees, the oak and the pine, that we've got to come out and pull up, but um, that's not going to be too hard pulling them up. And then I haven't been able to mow because we're waiting for the grass to start growing back in before I come in and mow again. But we've got some things, some invasives like the soda apple that I've got to start come out with to get some gloves and pull them up because they're really, really thorny. Um, but we got the well drilled, which was really awesome. We've got water out here. That was such a huge help to us because we were literally having to haul out um, 55 gallon water drums every time we needed to water the animals. And that's kind of a pain in the butt, <laughs> not gonna lie. So we got that, we got the chicken tractor built and we put the chickens to work on the future garden. We got the poultry net out here. And uh, we're gonna do a tour of that here in a second. But just like looking at this side-by-side -side comparison, with it, um, it's just, it's insane because it was just so open and wide. And I can't wait till we start getting things in order because once we start getting things in order and we start work and the rains and the rainy season comes in, the grass is gonna just kind of explode and it's really good grass out here. This site is particularly exciting to me because this is the beginning of our orchard and garden. And um, ultimately, I'm not sure exactly how ambitious I'm going to be on the size of my garden, but so far already, as you can see, we've got this section right here, but that whole length of the poultry net that you saw, that's all going to ultimately be our garden. And I want to say it's about 20 feet uh, wide and 70 feet long. So that might not be the actual length. We'll see. It might be more. <laughs> kind of just flying by the seat of my pants, but you know, I'm um, really excited because here soon we're going to start getting this tarped and letting it sit and uh, break down and decompose for a period before we can test the soil. Um, if we're going to add any amendments, we'll do that and then get started planting, um, which I'm kind of thinking our first thing that we plant might be strawberries. I'm not sure yet, but it's a possibility. <laughs> my goodness, he is so rude. <laughs> but. Uh, so far, I would say that the chickens and the goats have definitely done their jobs and uh, it's looking really good. And I, something that was really interesting to us is whenever we first planted our trees, our uh, peach and apple trees, that was those are the first four trees that we planted. And um, we dug down and it was like about a foot deep of just black soil, very rich soil. And we, we thought we were like, oh my gosh, that's probably what this whole pasture is. But um, we later discovered when we dug elsewhere that it was very sandy. So we just happened to be lucky enough to plant our orchard and our garden in the one spot of our property that is super rich soil. So um, pretty happy about that. 
Another really cool and fun thing is that um, we supplement some of our animals uh, feed with sunflower seeds just for some extra fat and protein and um, the way they reward us back is that whatever they don't digest they pass on in their manure and then this happens these are currently popping up all over got one coming in right now and these are starting to get ready for harvest and we're gonna harvest these and uh, enjoy ourselves some roasted sunflower seeds let's see this one is just about ready just a little bit of sunshine in our pasture so the story on the camper i'm kind of disappointed to say that we had originally purchased it so that we could move out here while we built but we could have actually saw, seen ourselves living in it for a year but unfortunately um after we purchased it and we're getting ready to try and get the details together to get stuff set up for us to move out here it took so long for us to get power out here we still don't have power out here we're still working on that but we're getting closer but the other problem was that internet now um, I'm a wedding photographer and I work online I cannot I have to have internet and of course I like to uh, share these videos with you guys so if we couldn't have internet, we couldn't live there because I can't make money. So um, because we couldn't get internet out here, we're no longer moving into that. So now we've got to, we're selling that and that'll be gone. But that'll just, just gonna open it up. We're gonna have much more room, it's much more open. Another big thing that's changed <laughs> is you'll recall, we chopped down this big, huge pine tree. That's still sitting there. <laughs> now we, um, we just haven't had time to cut it up. Uh, we got, um, I don't remember exactly what it was called. I think it was like a log lifter or something like that. But uh, we have to basically lift it up off the ground to chainsaw it. So we're just gonna cut it up and use it where we can use it. Unfortunately, we don't have access to a mill, so it's not really feasible for us to try and mill it and use it. Otherwise, I would totally love to mill it. Cause Lord knows we've got a lot of trees out here that are gonna have to ultimately come down like a dead pine over here in the back. There's another dead pine. And, um, but we just don't have the uh, accessibility to the equipment needed to do that. You might remember that we had planted a mulberry tree. We had uh, received it as a gift from a friend of ours and it's doing good. It hasn't gotten that much new growth, but it's also been winter. So I'm excited to see what happens now that spring is coming. So currently the way we've got it staked is it had this V down here in the center and in my head all I could think about is once it grows big because mulberry trees get to be huge and in my head all I could think of is once that once that grows big and tall that's going to be a really cool tree climbing place because lord knows we're going to have to harvest those berries somehow but I think it's going to be a really awesome shade tree and this whole area will be nice and shady and it'll just kind of add to the shadiness that those tree those two trees kind of lend. So this area will be nice and shady because it's hot in Florida and you want that shade. So this will be cuz this is going to be ultimately our backyard. It'll be nice and shady. So ultimately this area that tree is gonna be gone. That is an extremely huge pepper bush that had fallen over. And uh, unfortunately, because a section of its roots still remained, it uh, came back. So we gotta get that pulled out because that is extremely invasive and that is right next to the wooded area. And then currently we have a fence running along here. And that is where the uh, half of the herd is, where uh, Lexi and Brutus currently are. Hi babies, there's babies but this, those are also pepper bushes that are gonna be getting ripped out. Um, that is a uh, creek ditch. I'm not sure I'm calling it a creek because I prefer creek over ditch, but there's a little one right there and then there's a bunch of them right there. And uh, we gotta get those ripped out. <laughs> They're excited. Hi babies. Another huge change over the course of the last year is Lexi. Look at how big she's gotten. This is the little miniature Jersey heifer calf that was born early last year. Lexi Lou! 
Hi, sassy pants. She's still just as sassy. And there's Brutus. This path we came through here last time. And um, they've done a really good job of clearing this area out because this was really overgrown. Davis had to cut back some of these branches. This is also a pepper tree that has, is going to have to go as well. These are magnolias, wild magnolias that grow here. But that tree, oh, that's really dark. Oof. This tree though is a pepper bush and it will have to go. We had a really hard rain last night, so there is uh, water in the creek, but that that's still overgrown. We're gonna eventually get in here and start cleaning this out so that the water can flow better and uh, just controlling the invasives in here because unfortunately that is a problem that we have to deal with. This all got really overtaken with clumping grass and uh, it's trying to make a start start coming back. I gotta come through here and just brush that down. This back here, there's actually quite a few, there's a patch of blackberries back there that we are going to strategically clear uh, rows into and eventually this might be our location for bees because we want to have honeybees. But this is just a nice little area where they can be and they'll have blackberry and maybe we'll plant something else back here I'm not sure but blackberry is a good start. We haven't done much work back here um, just having the animals work back here. When we first bought this property, this was severely overgrown with blackberry and uh, dog fennel, and when he came through and tractored it down, it was really good. Fortunately, it's very eaten down right now because the horses and the cows have been in here working on clearing out stuff so we can start making this manageable. Right there is our other blackberry patch, and uh, there's actually dewberries coming in right now. I'm really excited, but this area, we're gonna likely keep all the uh, stuff around the uh, wetlands that this right here is the primary section of the wetlands, this clump of trees. Um, we're gonna leave this mostly overgrown, let it, let it just be natural. But this area surrounding it that's more dry that we could use for pasture, we're gonna work on mowing a lot of the invasives down, clearing them out and letting grass grow in. I wish I had gotten a before shot of all of this because I never got a before shot of this. We didn't walk into the wetlands because it was so, so overgrown. You couldn't really see what you were walking into. And it's looking so much better now. I can actually walk through here. One of the biggest undertakings that we're going to have is clearing out a lot of this, I don't even know what this is exactly, but there is vines all over these trees in here and we're going to have to clear those out. We've done so much out here and there's still so much more to do, but I'm really excited for the changes that we're going to be seeing out here in the next year or two. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>